This is how perfect highlights succeed with the makeup technique. How to mix a few drops of concealer with a good pinch of powder and bake at body temperature. The result is a perfectly highlighted face. Appetite? Then enjoy the baking trend recipe. Don't worry, ladies, the oven stays off. The new makeup trend baking has nothing to do with baking. But with drag queens, concealer, lots of powder and somehow also with Kim Kardashian. Baking, also called cooking, is a highlighting technique originally invented by drag queens to create a highly polished makeup complexion that also lasts forever. This also makes it clear that baking is only done for special occasions, photo sessions, or if you want to minimize large pores perfectly. Because the baking technique sets particularly extreme highlights that can quickly seem a bit too much in everyday life. Except for Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian's makeup artist copied the makeup technique, and dozens of Instagrammers celebrate it. And now you can try it too with our baking guide. What is the baking method? Baking is about making the complexion look even fresher and more radiant with targeted highlights and at the same time emphasizing contours more clearly. The usual makeup products, namely foundation, concealer and transparent powder, are used, but with a special method. When baking or cooking, the products should melt together and be literally baked into the skin by the body temperature, appearing particularly flawless and being well fixed. Baking Instructions – How Baking Works Step 1. Apply Moisturizer First, intensive moisturizing care is applied to the cleansed skin. Not only does it make the complexion appear plumper and fresher, it also ensures that the makeup lasts longer. It gets even better if you apply a primer afterwards. Foundation literally rolls off if the skin is too dry. Only if the moisture balance is intact can the makeup products form a bond with the complexion during baking. Step 2. Apply Foundation Before it comes to the actual baking, prime your face with foundation. Choose a nuance that matches your skin tone as best as possible. Also make sure to blend the foundation well on the neck and the edges of the face so as not to create artificial edges. Step 3. Apply Concealer The concealer plays a crucial role in baking. It set the framework for the later highlights and should therefore be applied very precisely to the areas that are to stand out visually. For example under the eyes, on the upper and lower edge of the cheeks, on the forehead, on the bridge of the nose, above the upper lip, on the chin and under the arch of the eyebrows. Apply a concealer that is one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. Be sure to work precisely and carefully blend the edges with a brush or sponge. After baking, the products have solidified in such a way that veneers and corrections are only possible with difficulty. If you like, you can apply another layer of concealer after a minute or two. This makes the result even more intense and perfect, but it also quickly looks like a mask. Step 4. Apply Powder To get started with the baking, transparent powder is now used. The areas that have previously been treated with concealer are dusted and in a very generous amount. Don't worry. The powder can be applied so thickly that it even begins to crumble in places. You will be amazed at how intensively this layer of powder is later absorbed by the baking. Body heat melts concealer, foundation and powder into a single mass, which is ultimately responsible for the perfect baking effect. A little tip, when powdering, it is best to use a precise brush or a small sponge. A large, Fluffy powder brush would make the result too large. Step 5. Wait. When all the ingredients are in the oven, patience is required. You should give the baking time about 20 to 30 minutes. After all, the body temperature must first warm up the individual textures thoroughly so that they can fuse well together. The production of skin fat also plays an important role in this process. The sebum is absorbed by the powder and mattifies the complexion. This requires enough time, but also enough powder so that the matte effect is not simply washed away, but can be fixed well on the skin. Step 6. Remove excess. The actual baking is now complete. The highlights are perfectly baked into the complexion and fixed on it. 
Now only the excess powder has to be removed and the perfect complexion is ready. However, this step requires some caution. The baking result should not be blurred under any circumstances. It is only necessary to carefully remove the uppermost, loose layer of powder. It is best to use a small fan brush with which to dodge off the excess. And the freshly baked dream complexion is ready. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you liked the video I have prepared for you, if so it would make me very excited, I do comment and a like, that would encourage me a lot to continue preparing more content, and if you want more useful videos like this do not forget to subscribe and activate the little bell, until the next video, have a nice day.